controller can only mean one thing. We're playing the Atari 2600 Junior. 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 Now in today's episode, we're playing Summer Games for the Atari 2600 Junior, developed by Epix. And this game released quite late in the Atari 2600 Junior's life cycle, or the 2600 that is. Uh, this game was originally released in 1984 for Commodore 64, and then it was ported to Atari 2600. Now, as you can see on the label, there's nothing really fancy about the label. It says Summer Games in big huge blue letters. It has Epics right there on the top. It says uh, for the Atari 2600 and 7800 series and Sears Telegames video game arcades. So the game definitely came out when the uh, 7800 was already out. It was a very, very late 2600 game. It was very, very, uh, uh, well, 87 is literally the 2600 was already 10 years old. Now, down at the bottom, it says Atari 2600 trademark and 7800 trademark are trademarks of the Atari Inc. Sears Telegames and Video Game Arcade trademarks, uh, all that stuff. And down at the bottom, it does say 1987 Epics. It's uh, probably one of the last games that really sent the 2600. And uh, on the end of the label, it says Summer Games with the Epics logo. It's all blue. And uh, the label does look a bit worn out. Uh, it has no tears in it. It does look like something might have spilled on it at one time. It, it looks kind of weird. Now this game features hurdle, swimming, skeet shooting, 100 yard dash, swimming relay, gymnastics, and rowing. So let's pop in Summer Games and let's have some fun in the sun with the Atari 2600 Junior. And right away we get a nice little uh, title screen right there, Summer Games 1987, Epics, and uh, again, 1987 is quite late for a, uh, a game to release on the Atari 2600, that's, uh, I mean, think about that for a second, that's like seeing a game on the NES release in 1997, that's insane. And uh, right here we have to choose our countries and the, uh, the music that appeared in the uh, beginning of the uh, game was actually quite impressive for the uh, Atari 2600. That was actually quite impressive. Let's pick USA. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's go down. Finish that. So we got to do some uh, hurdles here. And look at those raster graphics right there. That looks amazing with the uh, orange and red. That actually looks really, really good for Atari 2600 standards. All right, we got USA. Let's see, what are we doing here? We're running. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> we gotta jump. So in order to jump the hurdles, you have to literally jump or push up on the joystick. And it's not the easiest thing in the world. I just broke my legs, what the hell? Jump, get over that hurdle. So you have to Hold the direction down on your joystick, and I am awful. This guy's gonna end up with broken legs by the time I get done. The guy on the bottom is already done. Oh my god. That was like, oh, that's it. Let's get an ambulance. We're gonna need a, we're, we're gonna need a stretcher at the end of this uh, hurdle race right here. So that my guy probably has the most. Like, he's running. He's running to the hills. He's probably quite embarrassed by. Uh, how many hurdles he uh, broke through. He freaking broke his legs. Yeah, look at him, he's standing, tapping his feet. Look at the detail on that. He's actually tapping his little feet on the ground right there. That's how embarrassed he is, how pissed off he is that I'm actually playing the game. And I made him trip over every single hurdle. Let's play the next game. This is USA. All right, so we gotta go uh, swimming. <clears throat> Excuse me, and uh, let's see what we do here. So yeah, this game came out literally like probably a couple years after the NES console released. So this is definitely a uh, late to the game for the Atari 2600. So far, I'm actually quite impressed by it though. It's actually a uh, quite impressive. I mean, the graphics and everything look actually nice on this game. And again, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. I'm going to be honest. It's 
So I'm not sure if I'm supposed to rotate the joystick or hit a button. Looks like he's swimming a little bit faster and just tapping whatever the hell I have on. There's not really many buttons on the joystick. There's only one button and one joystick and that's it. So, it can't be that hard. I did it in 42 seconds. That was uh, pretty quick. Let's see here. USA. Now we got to uh, play some skeet right here. Let's see what happens. Get over here. Oh. The controls on this are actually surprisingly pretty good. I'm using the standard joystick, by the way, so it's nothing really fancy here. The original Atari 2600 joystick. And uh, it's actually surprisingly quite impressive with the controls. That'd be nice to have a light gun. I have to use an old CRT TV with a light gun. And again, man, I'm actually quite impressed by the graphics. They actually look quite nice for uh, 2600 standards. And the uh, sound effects are actually pretty good too. USA, we're doing a dash right here. Let's see what happens here. Oh, fault. Oh, I think I kind of ran out of turn. Go! Run, run, asshole. Hit that. You hear the joystick? Hit the. Pretty much. Make uh, the joystick go left to right, left to right, real fast. And this guy beat me. What a piece of crap. And again, my uh, my little guy up there is tapping his foot on the ground. Look at the detail on that. He's wearing a red shirt, black pants. He has a flesh tone head right there. You can have, you can actually make out that this is a guy that's wearing clothing and he's pissed off. So yeah, Epics, you did a pretty damn good job. When it comes to graphics on the uh, 2600, you actually push it to the limits. This actually looks pretty nice. Uh, the game, the controls are not the greatest, but the graphics are very nice. I love the raster graphics right there. Look at that. That is very, very nice. If you look at that, you can see the little gold portion of the raster graphics at the very, very left end. Look at that. Then you have the... Oh, man. They did a great job. It's time for the relay. So uh, this right here is the relay. It's basically the same thing as swimming, except you have probably multiple laps that you have to do. And honestly, I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing here to swim faster. I'm not. Let's put you this way. My guy's probably gonna drown eventually. <laughs> Let's see if we can make it to the end. Come on, swim faster. It's already uh, not making it. Oh my god. Look at this. No way. You have to admit, it definitely actually does look like a guy swimming. I mean, they did a really damn good job with the graphics. Alright, so now we have another guy right here that's jumping in. We have to do the same thing with this guy right here. There's probably two or three different laps. I read in the manual that you're supposed to push the red button at a certain time to make him swim faster, but I can't really get the hang of it. Uh, this is definitely not my uh, uh, portion of the game that I'm good at. I'm not really good at this portion at all. Uh, nonetheless, it's actually pretty fun to play. It's frustrating. Well, uh, let's put it this way. If you don't take the game too serious and you enjoy it the actual art and the graphics of the uh, the game, considering that it's on, it's on the 2600, it looks fantastic. Let's see if we can swim to the end right here. I believe this might be the last lap. It's definitely a great summer time game to play. Summer games on the Atari 2600. Uh, we're swimming right here in the swimming pool. 
I mean, who cares about having a real swimming pool when you can actually swim in your Atari 2600? Look at that. Cool off. I mean, look at that. Let's see if we can make it to the end here. Well, this guy's swimming a little bit faster. I'm not sure what the hell I'm doing any different, but he's doing pretty good. Yeah, look at that. I made it to the end. Without drowning. Now, if that was Pitfall, I would have been dead. Alright, so... Now we have to, uh... I believe do some gymnastics? Oh yeah, this is not gonna be fun. Ooh, I don't know what I did there, but I did it. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Rowan. Oh, yeah, look at this. It's like paddle boats or something. Canoe. Let's check this crap out. Yeah, look at that. Look at the graphics. It looks actually, it actually looks very good. You can actually make out the guy in the canoe. And you, you can make out the little paddles and all that stuff. Look at that. That's actually quite impressive. Man, Epics, you did a great job with the graphics in this game. I mean, it looks awesome for Atari 2600. Let's put you this way. Uh, the, the, the game itself may not be the greatest, but man, I am a fan of the graphics. This definitely uh, made the uh, 2600 shine. Like, look at this. This came out in 87. Long, long after the uh, 2600 existed, and it still looks fantastic. Look at that. Alright, let's see what's next. Alright, we get some music. And uh, that's pretty much it. I don't think there's really anything else to it than that. You can actually pick a different country if you want. Let's see if you pick a uh, UK. We'll see what happens here. Yeah, so basically it's the same exact thing over and over again, but it's a short game. It has the great graphics. It's a nice little fun thing to play if you restart it here. Actually, let's uh, go to the title screen real quick. It has the actual real Olympics music. And it sounds great. Listen to that. And that is awesome. Listen to that. And that would be... Uh, well, before we go here, let's see what this does. So the black and white doesn't do anything. Oh, and as you can see, you can actually skip through different games. So if you don't want to play through each game, you can choose whatever level you want. That's actually pretty cool. I'm uh, quite sorry about the sight of my hairy arm right there. That was like a jungle. But yeah, you can actually play through pretty much whatever you want, so if there's a specific game inside this game that you want to play, let's say if you want to play this one right here, you can play it and you can skip the other ones, which is pretty cool. I like that feature. So yeah, Summer Games on the Atari 2600 is probably not the most popular game, it came out way too late, but it definitely pushed the uh, graphics to the limits on the 2600, it looked great, and the game wasn't too bad, there's not like a whole lot to it, but... It's a fun little game to play. Uh, definitely uh, recommend it on the 26th century. Now stay tuned for our next episode of Memory Lane. And if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and comment down below.